So when generally looking at your health in any form, it's not just so much through nutrition as well. It's anything you ingest and also anything that you put on your skin. But this episode, really, I want to talk about something that's the common topic among and it's class and it's chucked aside into like the conspiracy theories. But here's how I feel about it and this is my personal experience with it. So, fluoride. Initially, the first thing that's going to come to your head is toothpaste. You know, fluoride's in toothpaste, it helps with tooth. I actually personally remember being in year three, sat on a carpet, someone, some teeth specialist came in or probably some, some fucking random idiot just came in and was just saying... Tell your parents, when you're looking for toothpaste, get the fluoride toothpaste. We've been taught fluoride stops cavities in teeth. If you use a toothpaste and look at countries that don't use fluoride in their toothpaste, the the stats show almost no difference in cavities. It doesn't make any difference. So why are they putting it in there? It's not just in your toothpaste. It's found in certain drinking waters and other places I'm still finding out but generally you just want to avoid it if you actually look at what fluoride is fluoride doesn't naturally occur in water so it's it's added and if you look at the effect it has on the body it's destructive so the conspiracy theory part comes from <clears throat> this goes a bit off topic but part of your brain basically that is the basically the key source of focus, concentration, motivation, creativity. This part of the brain is calcified, so hardened and destroyed when ingesting fluoride and other chemicals. But fluoride in general directly calcifies it, which the conspiracy theory comes from. It's done intentionally and pumped into everything because they want to dumb people down and stop them being creative and stop them, you know, being able to focus enough to destroy the fucking system but um in general you want to avoid it when you just look at it and you go hang on a minute you take a step back and you go what actually is fluoride why is it added and why have i been fucking lied to like it's no secret that big companies lie so colgate and all these people pumping it into their toothpaste how are they profiting from it how who's paying them this isn't about the conspiracy i'm getting carried away but take it out your diet take it out your toothpaste avoid it avoid Try and drink as much bottled water as you can. I go for Evian, personally. Um, and see how you feel. And personally, how I feel from taking it out. On top of, obviously, changing my diet, which had a massive effect. I became more focused, motivated, and creative. And it's basically sparked this whole long life health thing. And I just feel better. I generally think I feel better. I'm not really... Maybe it is placebo, maybe it isn't, but I generally feel better. And I honestly think people should. Again, I can just be a beacon to introduce you to the idea of, oh, fuck, like, I thought it was good. Look it up, do your own research, take it out, see how you feel. And if it benefits you and you're able to focus more, you know, change your diet as well. Don't just remove fluoride and then fucking live off Walker's crisps all day and then drink Coke all day and expect to see a dramatic difference. Change your diet. Then, or take the fluoride out first and change the diet, whatever you want to do, and see how you feel about it. But I strongly advise no one ingests it. It's a poison. You know, too much can kill you. If you actually look at your toothpaste, do not swallow. If swallowed, contact your doctor immediately. Prove me wrong. Go to your toothpaste right now and tell me it doesn't say something along the lines of that. And then ask yourself, I'm brushing my teeth with stuff I'm not allowed to swallow. Just think about it. Something to think about. I recommend everyone comes off it. Fuck the world.